I've been trying to find the best way to listen to music through my RV audio system, while at the same time be able to control song selection and volume control for my cell phone. In this video, I'll show you what I've tried and what works best for me. The features I'm looking for are remote music selection and remote volume control. From my phone, I want to be able to select, skip, pause music, and adjust the volume while I'm sitting by the campfire. Range. I want to be able to walk as far away from camp as possible and have the music keep playing. Player independence. I want the player playing the songs to be independent of my phone. I just want the phone to act as a remote control. If the phone battery dies, I want the music to keep on playing. Simple setup. I want the setup to be simple. By this, I mean both the one-time initial setup of the system and how easy it is to get the system running when at camp. When listening to music in the RV and around the campsite, I initially tried to make a simple Bluetooth connection from my phone to the Furion audio system in my RV. The range of Bluetooth was very poor. Just a few feet outside, the connection would be lost and the music would stop playing. If I walked around and my phone was in my pocket, the music would stop playing. I really like to adjust the volume and select and skip songs from my phone when outside the RV or just sitting by the campfire, which is often out of Bluetooth range. Clearly, Bluetooth was not the answer for me. One simple solution is to just load all your favorite songs on a USB stick and pop that into your RV audio system. The only problem is you have no remote control for volume and skipping and selecting songs is not possible remotely. This solution is nice when you have no internet connection, but not good for complete control. In my RV, I have a dedicated media server. See my other videos for details on this media server. If you are just looking for a simple media server for music, a super cheap Raspberry Pi would work. I only use a bit more powerful media server because of all the things I do with it, such as video. I was able to use my media server to give me remote control of music using Spotify. You will need an internet connection on your phone and in your RV to do this. I installed the Spotify PC program on my media server. That Spotify program running on the PC will be the one that actually plays the music audio. So I connected the audio out of my media server PC to the audio input of my Furion RV audio system. Now my PC audio can be heard on the RV inside and outside speakers. You will need to adjust your RV audio system volume and the volume of your PC to the appropriate levels. Next, if you open Spotify on your phone, you can search for Spotify devices and you'll find your Spotify music player that is running on your PC. That is usually named the same as the PC name. In my case, the media server PC name is RV Server. I select that device in Spotify and now the Spotify app on the phone will be remotely controlling the Spotify playing on the PC. If the phone goes out of range or the battery dies or the Spotify app on the phone is closed, the music does not stop playing on the PC or the RV speakers. You can even adjust the volume of the music playing on the PC remotely from the Spotify app. If you have a smart TV or some other smart device like an Apple TV or external Roku device, you might find this as a device Spotify can connect to and play from. You could bring the audio output of this device into your RV sound system. Here, you can see my smart TV also listed in Spotify as an available device. I did not want to use my TV as the player because I would have to leave my TV on all the time when playing music. Overall, I really like Spotify as a fully remote control music solution for my RV music. It meets all my needs. The only downside is it is a paid service and it requires internet. But for weekend camping trips where internet is available, it works great. The final solution I often use was a bit more complex to set up, but it is good when you are boondocking and have no internet for solutions like Spotify. But you still want good solid remote music control from your cell phone. I installed a server program on my media server called Music Player Daemon. This is well known in the Linux operating system community. It is often referred to as just MPD for Music Player Daemon. It is basically a server program that plays local music files. This means you will have to have your own music library as files such as MP3s for MPD to play. This is the nature of being offline. Just like Spotify solution, the PC will be playing the music, so the audio out of the media server PC plugs into the RV audio system. I found a really cool custom free iPhone app called Maximum MPD that allows you to visually control the server side MPD from your phone. This is cool because the music is actually playing on the server. The phone just acts as a remote control. If the phone ever goes out of range or you exit the phone app, the music keeps on playing. 
Also, this is controlled over the local Wi-Fi network, so the range is much better than Bluetooth. From the Maximum MPD mobile app, you can start and stop songs, select songs to play next from your library, select pre-configured playlists, view and edit the play queue, and adjust your volume. If you are into mobile software development, the source code to this mobile app is open source and the developer is very active and responsive in the GitHub for this project. As I mentioned, this solution is especially cool if you have no internet at your remote camp location. You can still bring and control your tunes to the middle of nowhere. While this MPD solution is a bit more complex to initially set up, I still like the ability to fully remote control the music player over Wi-Fi. This solution, like Spotify, also meets all my needs. I hope these music player options give you some ideas on how to improve your music on your future camping trips. Thanks for watching.